adventurers. So today I'm gonna to show you how to turn your car into a stealthy camping mobile. Not really. I'm gonna show you how you can take a nap in privacy in your car, or if you happen to be camping, how if for some reason the elements keep you from being able to stay in your tent or some unforeseen circumstance happens, you can actually stay warm and have a little bit of privacy. Now, I have a very small car that I drive, so I want as much privacy as possible. And while I have tent to my windows, sometimes people can still peer in and it's kind of creepy. So you need three items for this scissors, a sharpie, and a standard window reflector. You can buy those at any stores that sell items for cars. Um, most of the time they have several different varieties. I just bought the cheap ones that went on sale because summer's over that are used to deflect the sun during summertime and keep the heat out of your car. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. As you can see, I have moved into the car itself and I have picked up four of these little window shades. These are the larger window shades that you can buy. I found these at Walmart. The season is almost over, so they were on sale. They were only like a dollar a piece, and they are the larger reflectors, so they're a little bit big for my car. Um, if you look at this one, you'll notice that they fit with a little bit of an overhang, but that's okay. The main thing is that they're blocking out the sun and they're giving me that stealth factor. So if I decide I need to take a nap, I can put it up and nobody can see me napping. Now I could just take a nap in my car with one of them and that would be perfectly fine. But I'm an overachiever and I'm going to do all of them. That's right, all of them. But I have a reason for that. Not only do I have one for the front and one for the back back here, but I'm going to custom cut these to fit on each one of the side windows. The reason for that being that if I happen to be out camping and it gets cold, like super cold, or it starts snowing, and I do not feel comfortable camping in my tent for whatever reason, I can stay in my car and stay a little bit warmer. I'm hoping I don't have to do that because obviously my car is kind of small, but if I need to, I want to have that accessibility. So. Now we're gonna take one of these, unwrap it, and measure them into the windows so that we can do our cuts. Now I traced my window outline with the Sharpie, as you can see with this really not so pretty black line. Now I'm gonna take my scissors and cut these out and use it as a big pattern for the other window as well. So this is going to give me that custom cut fit so that it fits perfectly into my window area and doesn't waste a whole lot of shade. As you can see, my first run, I was a little bit off on this side, but I think it'll work overall. So one down, three to go. I'm just gonna cut them, each one independently versus using one as a stencil. I think that's the smart thing to do. But this is the basics of what we're doing. So the second shade has now been cut. Each time that you cut one of these, it's a little bit better fit just because you kind of work out your errors and your kinks. So on this one, I'm super excited. It turned out perfect. Now, something else I wanna show you really quickly before I let you go today is the difference between the two sides and their uses. Now, the silver side, whenever you're trying to reflect heat out, is going to face outwardly. That's gonna keep you anywhere between 20 and 40 degrees cooler than you would naturally be in your car. So this is perfect for car napping, at lunch breaks, things like that. Whenever you're wanting to keep the heat in, you simply flip this over so that the silver side faces inside and that's gonna keep your heat locked in. So that's perfect for cold weather conditions such as it snows while you're camping and you're stuck in your car, things like that. Of course, you also still wanna be using blankets and things like that because your car is still gonna be kinda of cold. This is just gonna help warm it up about 10 to 20 degrees. Now, when you do this, either way, you're going to have a lot of stealthiness. You do wanna make sure if it is for a car nap or something like that, that you're not making yourself look suspect though so watch where you park and stuff like that but whenever you're out car camping and you happen to just be using this as a backup plan then you can stay just about anywhere as long as it's on like a camping facility area nobody's gonna care so remember that and uh, good luck with your reflectics